Now this is a big one. The home of EDM. You've all been asking for it. This is Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland is a huge EDM festival held annually in a small town called Boom in Belgium. And it's considered the best music event on the planet with enormous lineups, ridiculous stages and foundations built on positive vibes. So after hundreds of festivals, we decided we need to see what it's all about. No VIP and no influencers, just four best pals from Yorkshire out for a good time. You've never seen anything like this. So join us at Tomorrowland. We are TPD TV. This is the real deal. TPD TV is powered by you. We cannot do this without you and we owe you everything. A huge thank you to our executive producers on screen. Join now for extended cuts of videos and early access. Right then, so here we are at Tomorrowland, the home of EDM. And you wanna know, is it any good? Well, we are here to report. Good morning, everyone. We are in, where are we? Brussels, Brussels in Belgium this morning. We're going to the world famous Tomorrowland Festival. Today. We've no idea what to expect. We've never been before. And we haven't done that much research. So let's give it a whirl and see what it's all about. Everyone put your leather wristband on. That is good. Step one, we need to go and get some alcohol and then get to site because apparently it's 40 minutes away and we've no idea where that is or how to get there. So we got some booze from the Carrefour and now we're waiting for the Uber to take us right to the Tomorrowland site. Biggest lead in the middle, eh? Mm -hmm. oh, are we getting out? Or are we done? I think so, yeah. I think we'll yeah. get out here. This is not tomorrow that I was promised. And there's fences. There's a housing estate there. So while the taxi driver up there tries to fit his entire side skirt in the boot, which isn't going to work, we're dropped off in some random fucking place. Yeah. It is the right place, but yeah. there's nothing festival like yeah. about where we are. What if Tomorrowland isn't actually a festival and it's just the friends that you make on the way? I'm starting to believe that because I can't see any sort of any any signs that tell me that a festival is down here. Whenever Jake talks to a bird, this is the title he's given. Right, you've got one mission. Okay. Go in there and get us a cold beer that will make us like really happy. The next shot is you coming out with some beers, all right? <laughs> yeah, oh, for fuck's sake. What's wrong with that? That is a perfect well, beer, you ungrateful. Room? So Tomorrowland is very hard to get tickets for, kind of like Glastonbury. So we had to book this through like a travel agent, which means we paid quite a lot more, but we did get some perks. And because of that, we're staying in a place called Dreamville. It means our tent's already set up for us, but it's not glamping, it's just a generic tent. It cost this much, and this was the company we booked it through. We'll show you what else you got as part of that package later in the video. So warm, it's very muggy today. But you know what I mean? Posy vibes, right? Posy vibes. I'm feeling great, mate. It looks great, doesn't it? This looks fantastic. Like, just the detail of... You didn't need those lights in here. Well, they fucking got them. That's great. It's kind of like a mixture of Alton Towers and Disneyland. The guy searching the bags did a good search, to be fair. Quite an intense search, but he was very polite. I've got a lot of tissues with me because I've got a cold. It's like, oh, the old Colombian cold, is it? Why can't airport security be that nice? That was so, like, simple. You just, I don't want to touch it. Just let me look. On you go. What was so funny there was literally the guy checking our bags was making jokes about doing drugs Rob was like oh I need him to like blow my nose the guy was like oh yeah to blow your nose inside there is a lock so you can set a code to close your tents have a nice day not super luxury but we didn't pay for super luxury I'm very very pleased with what we have got hello neighbors hey, hey how we doing good to see you we've already got water in us <laughs> oh everyone gets this Bam bam. That's real nice, that, isn't it? Mm. it? Some major festivals won't even think about doing all like that. If you've been to all of them, you can have it on like your oh, bookshelf, very which nice. is kind of nice. I do have a bookshelf. This stuff in here now is what your extra like 600 quid goes on. 600 quid. And this, obviously. Oh, so, so how much would you say is this worth? I don't know. Let's just show what's in the back. quid's worth. Well, this mm. is the extra 100 quid. And of course, you also get SPF 30 sun cream. Thank you. Right then, so we've just got a delivery of the Tomorrowland newspaper. Let's have a look at page three. Oh. So there's a bit here where it says about don't use your phone, like put your phone in your pocket and enjoy yourself. 
put your hands in the air, don't have your phone in your hands because we've got the best live streaming and after movie teams. Um, so just enjoy it and let us capture it for you. Which is probably why it was a real hard no when we asked for the accreditation <laughs> for this event. Well, bad news, we're here. I know we're at a festival and that, but you'd take the full 5G and 326 meg download speed, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, we're locked up. Ready to go. Pretty easy getting in. I'll tell you what made it a lot easier. The Eastpac rolling luggage. I know they sponsored the video, but just real quick, the rolling luggage is so much easier than having it on your back. Four lads venturing into Tomorrowland for the first time ever. Today. Never heard of any of the fucking people on this lineup. Let's see if we can have a good time. Not good now. If Jake ever says, I'm not even that fat, look at that. Let's go, Let leave him. No, Let's no. go, he's made his bed. Come on. Tomorrowland. Foot, foot, foot. We're the three best friends that anyone can have. So Tomorrowland uses a cashless system, of course. And it's called Pearls. And we put on 200 euros, which I think is about 114 pearls. So let's go and get a drink, and then we'll work out how much a drink costs. I love maths. He failed his maths, and it's funny. He actually never passed it. I think we worked out that like a drink was two pearls, but that was 475 in pearls, so this is how much our 200 euros is gonna get us in drinks. God, that's convoluted. And did you see how well the system worked? Yeah, very good. Much better than just tapping your card. Look at that. Just that? That's, that's just the gate to get in. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. Like, if that's as good as, if the gate's like that, what's oh, the stage is like? Gonna... This seems to be but the normal camping. look over there, there's a sign that has a bunch of other signs that might take it to somewhere else. Yes, Hammond. Ooh, who wants a cup of tea at the tea party? The tea party. Who wants it? Ooh, the Alice of Wolfram tea party. Tea party. What's mad is that fountain, it's just been put, it, put there purely for this, purely just as an aesthetic thing. There's a camera. God, that's great! Here's something I've never seen before ever at a festival, and we've gone to a lot of festivals, don't you know? Phone repair and SIM cards. If, is your phone that fucked or you just didn't come with a fucking... I don't understand why, but it exists. Oh, shit! Chuck, what's up? What's up, Chuck? Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Boys, hang on. Hold on, boys. I forgot my balloon. It's all right. There's, there's a blue shot there. No way! Oh, perfect. You can perfect. get your balloon right. now. I'm going to go get a new balloon. Even the balloon shop's raving. <laughs> you your pudding. Oh, <laughs> different ca different you, kind of pudding. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you, brother. Oh, How much was that? Eight pearls, I think. The one time I've ever been out in Belgium to a, like a nightclub, a girl came over to me and I was very shy around her and she, she said, oh you're so timid and I was like what? And I was like oh timid, yeah I guess so. Anyway, a nice lady over here comes over to me and says, you're not very talkative are you? I said, I'm quite timid and she goes, what is timid? At Leeds Fest in the campsite they've got Piccadilly, which we're doing this year, do come and see us. Have a look at that for a campsite stage right there. God, it's a little bit different to the uh, orange campsite DJ at Leeds Fest, isn't it? So we're at the gathering, which is like the opening party, but to be fair, it's pretty dead, but it's pretty early. We've got a leak in the ship, she's sinking, What's Captain! No! I tell you, they do a great job on Instagram of making this stage look insane. And I guess... The it doesn't look that impressive in real life. To be fair, that's the campsite stage that they don't I really know that, up. but it looks amazing on Instagram and it doesn't have look that good. Have you seen that there. one? Yes, I have. We're doing uh, past the balloon, so it's gonna go around one by one. So it's actually your turn, Jake Marley. That's fine. Look after the balloon. If you lose it, you have to buy the round. Not me. I ain't gonna lose the balloon. The balloon is where the fuck is it? It's gushing like Razor's gum. Our mission for this weekend, all right? Mission objective. Everyone listen. We have to see an act with a guitar. I think Shaq plays guitar. I see him acting a fool with guitar all the time. Now, here's a festival first. A gym. Come with us as we do some working out with a broken rib. Oh, there we go. Oh, go on, Rob. Go 
Rob, I'm up. Go on. Oh, go on. Good on, Rob. Well done. Well done, Rob. Oh, that was legitimately heavy. There's no on him. It feels very illegal to be in here just with your booze and your mates taking the piss while everyone else is doing a serious workout. It's easy. All you need to do is just have a bit of momentum. And then it's easy. Just do yeah. the, me add the momentum. <laughs> Even with the momentum, that was hard. Everything up, we got 10 more minutes and then we're going to close this gym, okay? We're open every day from 9 to 2. 10, but tonight, 10 minutes to get my summer body. Nobody is standing still in this place. This is the best gym in the world. That's the coolest festival in the world. So if you're not working out, you're dancing, you're moving, you're grooving, and listening to the music. And rule number three, lift today, left tomorrow, unite forever. Are you with me? There's no single man who can pick that up with one arm. You want to bet? No chance. You want to bet? No way. Oh, what was that? I can't lift any bit. Do a curl. An XL beer, please. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've just realised I am absolutely hammered and I'm dying for a piss so I'm just running off for a quick a quick piss out of my big old cock and we're going to keep on drinking and we're going to see where the night takes us because uh, it is 20 past 5 and we still got until midnight to go 8.75 pearls which is this much which I think it's a little bit expensive not gonna lie but do you know what I've not had a pizza in a long time that's banging <laughs> There's a bloke over there with his Snapchat logo on his back, like the QR code to add him. How dare you disrespect our flag. My grandfather bought it when it was for that flag. And you little emo fucker want to disrespect the flag. What my granddad fought for it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Make Britain great again. I refuse to believe people just do this all day and listen to this all day. Even Shazam doesn't know what it is. <laughs> We're the only people here that have been to 2,000 trees and Tomorrowland this year. Guarantee it. Everett Rob, welcome to the motherfucking gathering. Tomorrowland! We've started playing some songs we know, and all of a sudden it's the best night in the week. I'm too drunk for 6 p.m. bro. Ready, ready, ready. What's this? What is this? Oh shit. Right, I'm back. Let's get that backy. I've got my stuff, I've got Rob's stuff, and I've got two beers. So I'm gonna see him off before I get back in that arena, which is easy as piss. But yeah, on the way back I go. Bow! He's ready for some dream and bass. Is that not what we've been listening to all day? Is that not what that was? No. He looks like Steve out of Stranger Things. Welcome, one and all, to the drum and bass hour. It's like pendulum, and that's what we got to listen to for the next hour. I think I like drum and bass, I think more than whatever the last shit was. But I still don't like it very much. <laughs> Alright, we're on our way back. The first half of the gathering is over, and honestly, I tried my best to respect the culture of EDM. I almost tweeted who could get me out. 
because I just do not understand how how that's enjoyable. But my mind's open. We're off to the other side of the same stage to try and reset the experience for the night time and we're gonna keep going. It looks good from back here. Yeah, it does. You can barely see that gap in the panel. You can still see it when you zoom in. I ordered a wine. I thought it'd be bigger than this, man. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I used to have all the Futurama DVDs. Oh, and nice. it had really good like behind the scenes footage and like oh. things on the like, like it showed you like the 3D models of like the planet X. Let the bass turn and kick it. That's all this weekend is. You hear that? If you, if you made it this far, same thing three have days. You made, have you made it this far? First fucking quarter of the video. Same, same thing three more days, maybe a bit, a bit more beautiful. Put the bear. Oh, now we're here in the dark and we've had a bit more to drink. It's looking a lot more appealing. Yes, yo, like the bitch, I'm gonna. Hey, let's get ready. You wanna see my face in Chucky when you ask me for us to come to your festival? Wait till what you're in for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be some real shit. It's gonna be some real off the chain shit, I guarantee it. It started out with a kiss, I did it out of my kiss. It was only a kiss, it was only a kiss. That was a long night at that one stage. Yep. Tomorrowland day one would have been great. If that, how good would that have been if it would have started at 8 p.m.? We have to bed. Yeah. So it's 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 a uh, 20 past midnight now. Yeah. yeah. If we wake up at 8:30, that's at least eight hours sleep. And what we're we doing no, when we wake no, up? Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So I'm waiting. It's eight in the morning and I've figured out what's wrong with Tomorrowland. There's no toilets next to your camp, so I'm having to trek to the pisses. Oh God, this is not nice. Good morning. Good morning. With the early risers. Because of that, we feel energized and pumped, don't we Raz? Uh, not yet. Well, there's only one way to do that. There certainly is. And that's to go to the gym. Big up to the staff here. Like, it's nine in the morning and they're already working on like repairing like the floor that obviously broken overnight. Now I do need to make it clear. I know it's probably hard to believe, but I don't go to the gym. This is gonna be an experience for me. Raz, what do you recommend that I do today? Today I would recommend the old chest. Chest. So you feel nice and big. Yeah. Nice and get your arms up. So it turns out that the way to do the gym is like, they'll put everyone in at once and they all get a set amount of time. And once the time's up, everyone leaves and then the next batch of people comes in. So hopefully we're in the next batch. <laughs> Right, you ready? I feel very poorly. I'm all bunged up in my schnoz and my ears. I'm not really looking forward to the rest of this, to be totally candid with you. But that was just the start. Let's go in with an open mind again. It might be brilliant. I don't know if this is normal, but am I meant to feel sick after doing all this? Now I've had to leave that place because I was just getting too good at that and I didn't want to show up all the other guys that were in there. <laughs> God, well what a way to start off the first official morning of Tomorrowland. What's up with you, you miserable bastard? Edits. Yeah? Edits a lot, boys. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. 
tell you what, mate, my biceps hurt this morning. I don't know why. <laughs> my head hurts from all that. I've just remembered last night you when you were going for a drink and you were insisting on going for a drink on your own, even though we said don't bother. Yeah, and I got served a Kirk. So we're going for a shower. And the good thing is you have to pay for the shower. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's not a good thing. It is, because it means they're serviced. And if they're not free, less people will use them. Isn't that right, Jay Valley? That is right, mate. These are the, the outside showers. That's pretty cool. Yeah, literally fine. We ready, fellas? Aye, aye, Captain. Feeling good? Nope. You know what, mate? This is great. Benny can see him was in a, the lead for the best shower outside, which I still think it was, but this is a very close second. And here comes the freezing, freezing. Teeth are nice and clean, which is no, a big uh, thing at a festival for making you feel fresh. What do you mean, no, they're not? No, you not. just paid to win, you dickhead. Add time. Folks, as we get ready after our shower, it's a perfect time for me to tell you a little bit about our sponsor for this video, which is the good folks at East Pack. We've traveled to Belgium this weekend with East Pack luggage, including the little mini bag and mine matches which I'm really really happy about. This is a really cool deal for me because Eastpac is a brand that I've always really personally liked. They were even the sponsor for the first proper gig I ever went to back in 2010 so it's a cool full circle moment. Look I just found the ticket. How cool is that? Who would have thought that this would have been worth hanging on to after all these years? Let's tell you a little bit about these bags. The wheels on this thing are absolutely brilliant. You guys know I've got lots of bags and when I travel I like to spice it up and use a different bag each time but having the wheels on this has made it so easy to just carry around that this is going to be my go-to now for every trip there's no strain on my back and with my injured rib that's perfect it's a perfect carry-on size which means you can take it on a plane and you don't have to check any luggage and because we're a few days into the festival now i'm using this compartment for my dirty washing and this compartment for all my clean stuff which is nice to keep it separated i know that you know that we don't need to tell you how good east pack is because these things are brilliant. East Pack bags are built to resist. And when I say built to resist, what I mean is the guys at East Pack know how much we love going to festivals and love going in mosh pits. That's why these are durable and built to last. And even if there was a problem with your bag, most products have 30 years warranty. You heard that right. 30 years warranty. Ooh. And you know, I never normally use a bag like this, but it's come in handy because inside it's got tissues and tissues and tissues and painkillers and nasal spray and tissues and this is all stuff that wouldn't fit in my pocket and it's great because it's really helping the cold that I've currently got. I'm gonna actually keep using this because it's handy for stuff like portable chargers and even your phone like I was wearing shorts yesterday with shallow pockets. Slink phone in here, jobs are good and revolutionary. Even our airport liquids bag is an East Pack and it's the perfect size and it means you don't have to mess around with those disposable ones. As you can tell by my hat I'm a big fan of East Pack and I fully support them. If it weren't for East Pack, I would not be able to bring the big black ridiculous boots to this festival. So a huge thanks to East Pack for sponsoring this video. Show them the bag, Raz. Woo! We're really, really glad to be working with East Pack. We think they're really cool. Check out their products on the link below. They've got loads of great stuff. A Dover. Tomorrowland has some amazing outfits and we want to be a part of that. So that's why today we've all come in our ravers outfit because we're here to rave. So individually, we're all going to go inside, get changed and reveal it to the group. Single man, <laughs> reveal yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we're ready to party. We're ready to rain, man. Eh? You look great. Is that Viking? <laughs> Single, Single man, man, reveal yourself. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I think that's alright. <laughs> oh, the glitter. It's like, a, it's like a dark rave, like a dark yeah, wizard. It's, it's like, I, you're, I go to different types of raves. Yeah. Like and and the black glitter as well. Yeah, man. Do you know yeah, what? The Fleetwood Mac rave. Yeah. <laughs> Single man, reveal yourself. Come to the party. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have what is going on. What are they? So you've seen that video, aren't you? Of like the hook up hot shots. The, no, the goth rave party. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> under bridge. Single man, reveal yourself. Expose yourself. 
This oh, 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 Right, now we're ready for Tomorrowland. Yeah. We can go to the shop to buy some fucking breakfast. Finally, I'm starving. This is fun, isn't it? This is real fun. This is what ravers wear, right? Yep, yeah, right? I got chicken sticks. Yeah. Interesting, right? Let's take a bite. Oh. Pretty good. Yeah. I got the plant-based kebab with no salad. Well, everyone's food was average to good. We're gonna go into the supermarket, which is a carrefour, and we're gonna buy some things. We need some waters, we could do with some bin bags. I've been waiting for ages, but I'm glad I can finally get it at Tomorrowland. My Xbox Game Pass. The best bit about this is carrying these six litres of water. Nearly back at camp now. Nearly back. Man, my feet are battered. It's a shame because I wanted to wear these the rest of the weekend. Specifically packed and bought for this weekend. They're just not comfy, man. You're if joking. you've got some of these, if you've got the big red ones, and you say they're comfy, you're lying to yourself. Here's what we got from the shop. Strawberries. A load of crisps. The juice. Whose is that juice? That one's mine. Some of these. Mine. What are they? Waffle. Can I have one of them? Yes. Lovely. We got some plasters for you. Thank you. Some chocolate milk each. And that's about it really. As you got these little snacks. Yep. All in of us about 50 quid, but we did get the waters as well, which are an absolute necessity. Right, so we've actually not been to the festival yet, as weird as that sounds, because we've just been in the campsite. Everything you've seen is part of the campsite. So now we're off for the first time to see the festival. And I'm excited about it, you know. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Well, we said, let's see if we can find any one with a guitar at Tomorrowland. Oh, yeah. There we go. No, but as, Finally, you, as you've just said, we're not in Tomorrowland. This oh, is Dreamville. that's true. Excited. I'm very excited. Like, look at this entrance, man. Look at this. I'll tell you something we haven't discussed, but which is a big benefit at this festival. It's 18 plus. The whole thing is 18 plus. So you've got no little kids running around. I don't mean like children, but like fucking 16, 15, 16 year old cat heads causing trouble. It's very nice. We're here in the promised land of Tomorrowland. Now, I've never been to Disneyland, but I can only assume it's a bit like this. You're doing it wrong, guys. It doesn't look real and it doesn't look relatable. I just saw you stage that shot. Wow, look at this. Wow, we. Wow, good God. This is a really cool stage. This is what it's called. And it's all water themed. So as you can see, there's a big fountain behind the stage. There's fountains that pop up kind of in time with the music maybe. And then there's fountains all around and droplets coming from the roof. And this would be a great place to be if you were on. Not really feeling this stage. It seems to be mushroom themed. I, I don't know why, but it is. I want everyone to have a good time, and I, of course, love seeing people have a good time. What I just don't understand, I'm not dissing, I just don't understand, is when people are just like that all day. Like, there was a guy in the queue, and he was just doing that all the way through the queue. And even when he was ordering, he couldn't stop just doing that. There was a guy in the supermarket earlier just looking at the product, and it was like I was looking at a GTA character, because it was, it was looking at the chicken balls or whatever, and just... Glad you're having a great time, man. I, to be honest, I'm having a good time.
time today, but I do envy you all. They're obviously very self-aware that a lot of people are going to be on the phones while they're here, taking photos, taking videos. That's why, like, all over the place, they've got, like, phone charging points, which obviously makes sense. If you're going to be on your phone all day, you're going to need that juice, so you're going to need the stores to do it, and they're all over. The attention to detail is better than anything I've ever seen before. Like, that's this sign here. It's literally not in use. They've even made a cover to put over it. That makes it blend in with the trees behind it. Something like that, so small that any other festival just wouldn't even think about. It's very much like Alton Towers, this. I just wish there was some rubber dinghy rapids here. God, you know, it'd be if, so good. If any festival had some rubber dinghy rapids, it'd be my but number this one. This truly does feel like a festival that would happen. All right, here we are, Tomorrowland Toilet. General admission, porcelain. It's a good start. I'm just having a piss, but I'm gonna sit down because I deserve it. I've had a long fucking year. I'm very comfortable. Ooh, this is, look at this toilet roll holder. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but there's an act that we've deliberately come to see. Now, we first saw this act yesterday at the gathering, and it was called Someone and, and some, an Average Rob. And they were the first band, or first act, to play songs with words in. So we've come back to hopefully hear some more words. Untitled Count Sound System and Average Rob. Welcome to the motherfucking library. ceremony. So right now we should be witnessing the opening ceremony which apparently is legendary and I'm excited. What you see before you is the city of Acadiana in the world of Encendo in the universe that is Tomorrowland. Trust me when I tell you, we are changing the world together. Look around you. Look around you. In fact, say hello to the person beside you, the person behind you, the person in front of you, and let them know who you are, where you're from, and what you're going to do on this weekend. I wish you the greatest weekend of your lives. Make every second legendary. Madame's Messieurs, Dames and Heron, Senores y Senores, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tomorrowland.
let the journey begin. Witness Arcadiana's hidden world within. in 2020 so three years old you can kind of get away with that that's fine Razzie's over here 2014 I'll do you one better Folks, this is what you've been asking for. It's a sensitive content warning. If you are eating your takeaway, turn away now because you're going to see a little bit of sick and then I'll be back to tell you when it's done. On with the show in three, two, one. There's no way I've got away with that. There's no way I've got away with that. All right, that wasn't too bad, was it? I hope you are enjoying your food if you're eating it and enjoying the video so far. So press subscribe, we'll carry on. We spent the past hour and a half in this bar and we've been dancing, we've been chatting, we've been drinking. It's been great. Big up this is our last one. Mission accomplished in that bar. We got to get fucked up. We got fucked up. Right, I need a wee wee. I'm gonna get a Tomorrowland burger and if it doesn't taste different than a yesterday burger I'm gonna fucking kill someone We embrace the taste 
tastes pretty good right now. It's veggie, innit? Yeah, you know what, mate? I didn't realise till I had my second bite that were veggie. I should have been able to tell from the patty. But let me tell you, it's nice. The more we get hammered, the more the food starts to be nice. Uh, there's something going on there, isn't there? It's almost like... It's almost like your brain kind of switches off for a second lets you process what you're eating. You eat it, and then it comes back on, and you go, Oh, that was nice! I, well, I, I reckon remember. it's because it's all shit, and we're just too hammered to care. They do a really good job of using signs, like road signs, to let you know where you can and can't go. What? Asian street food, Mexican and Indian food. I spoke to the guy, he said, this is down there to the left. No way, it. no fucking way. Not a chance in fucking hell did he say pisses. You never know in a festival toilet to so our DJ. Great and annoying. <laughs> I said no, he was very disappointed. He said, you speak English? I said, yeah, he was very happy. He said, where can I get some pills? I said, I don't know. He was very disappointed. Take a look, take a look, take a look at the kids on the street. Right, we've heard a lot about this Eric Pride's hollow. Now, I remember Eric Pride's from to the music video when I was a kid. So if it's anywhere near as good as that, it's gonna be great, but you know, uh, to be real, it's meant to be the show of the weekend. So let's take a look, take a look, take a look at the kids on the street. Where's a duck? Yeah. Where, where's a duck? There's the duck, take a look. Where's a duck? Where's a duck? The duck's on the stream. No, they never miss a quack. No, they never miss a quack. So this is not just like a stage at a festival. This is a massive fucking arena. And I know we've seen an arena yesterday, but look at this. This is on site. It's even better than fuck me. Oh my God. Wow, we are. <laughs> head towards main stage because Tiesto is now playing and I'd quite like to see him. It's just taken me about 20 minutes to get out of there to go for a piss. But you know what? I have to say, the Tomorrowland crowd is fucking excellent. There was only like two or three people who were like, nah, fuck off. That was um, an incredible visual spectacle. And I know all three of those words rhymed. I didn't mean them to rhyme, but good lord. That is a, that's something to, to behold. saying about this festival it is the most well organized and you know what 
it is quite hard to beat it's very well organized there has literally been not a single problem since we got here but can i just have some actual music like something i can sing along to like those guys from earlier they, the song. Did, they did a brilliant set yeah some songs so that's a proper day one of the festival and it's been fun for sure it has been fun we've had a good time i'm not trying to say we haven't well i can only speak for myself i've had a good time i've had a great time we've all had a good time i'm speaking for everyone now i was thinking we'd get it and it'd click and we'd like be like this is what everyone was all going on about all this time even the uh Eric, Eric hollow set i thought i'm gonna be so immersed by this and yeah it was great but it wasn't it wasn't what i thought it would be maybe tomorrow it'll click maybe tomorrow as the great stereophonics once said maybe we were dressed too much like ravers today i'll tell you what edm is shite you know what mate it is it, it is sh i'm it's sorry shit. it's shite it's shit you know what you know what they, they really can't say we didn't try we spent so much money trying to like experience it trying to like put it into our bodies like just fully immersing ourselves in the experience it's like, just shit how, like how can i can hear the main this? stage still playing the same songs that the no. last five fucking djs fact, have played because no, every time we touch i get I, I, I get how you can enjoy this but what i'm saying is how can you not enjoy a band like muse more what muse muse this video I'm is sponsored by muse <laughs> and here comes a demon in disguise only one thing on our mind good morning oh. today is our last full day at tomorrowland we don't really know how much day we've got tomorrow because i've no idea where the fuck we are or when our flight is today we're going to go around and show you loads of the things you can do at tomorrowland that's not listening to the same <laughs> Over and over a fucking game. Nice to see you, stranger. Nice to see you, sir. What happened last night? Uh, I don't remember what you last remember, but I went to get us a drink and I went for a piss. And it took me ages getting out because no one just wanted to let me out. So I eventually got out, had a piss. The toilets we went to earlier were closed. So I found a spot near um, near that river thing that we crossed over that I just went for a piss there. Just with some trees, and then got us some Moscow mules. But yeah, we were I was like, yeah, we're gonna get on it. And then my phone died, and I was like, oh well, I'll wait here. And I couldn't find you guys, so I, I fucking went on a whole little mission. You know how it is when you wake up on a morning, you go get your morning paper. Yeah. Can we get four? A bit of light reading while we wait for Jet Valley to get ready. Yep. So in the communal area, there is a barbecue pit which is free to use, as long as you bring your own meat. So we're gonna go buy some meat. Sorry, Ben. And we're gonna enjoy some meat. <laughs> 23 euros for four burgers and four little smoothies. I don't think that value could be bested by any actual food vendor. And we even bought a sauce as well. I'm excited for this, you know. I ain't had a barbecue burger for years. It's barbecue in time. I don't know if we already touched on this, but Tomorrowland has a really good uh, clientele. Like, everyone's very friendly. Everyone's really nice. The foundation of this festival is basically to just everyone love each other. And it really does feel like that. Our bag's just over there. Like, no one's looking after it. But you know that, like, no one's going to fuck about with it. Everyone's just uh, on here for the same reason, which is, is nice, because, you know, you certainly won't get that red in. That looks like a full intestine on there, mate. Yeah, it's not great. All right, you. Let's... Thanks, mate. You, wow, sir. we. There's your burger. Put it on top. <laughs> I've enjoyed this very much. Bread was a bit big. The sauce was good. Unmistakable taste of barbecue, which I've not had for a long time. Very nice. So these lads here have brought a speaker on and they're playing, would you believe it, EDM. And we've actually got a bit of an issue with the volume. It's not loud enough, baby, turn it up! Woo! This 
me trying to start my old Ford Escort. <laughs> it won't start. Hey, what? what are you doing there? DJ mate. You so what are you doing that on? I know, oh, but these little man. princesses. Oh, look, condoms on and everything. Ready to venture into the land of tomorrow one more time? You know it, mate. You know it. What about you? Yeah, of course. I was born ready. Hey, put it there then. Listen to how full this drink is. Jesus. Come on, mate. So when they check you, they're checking your bag, but they don't really check it properly. They just say, can you open up your zips and your pouches? So I did, just the one, and he said that were fine. He, looked, he went, yeah. And there's what about these ones? So Raz has been speaking to a gentleman who's apparently sorted us out some phone cases or something. All right, I'm, uh, I'm Christoph. Together with uh, Dimi and the back over there, uh, I own Something Smooth. It's a company that makes wooden phone covers. And basically, you're going to get your own design totally engraved. It's like a little bit like tattoos on wood. So basically, if you go to our website and you say, I want my name with roses, we actually draw it out and then you can get it engraved on your own personal cover. And for Tomorrowland, we make exclusive Tomorrowland covers, which can be engraved with your own uh, message. Like we have some very fun uh, messages already, like big things or nice stuff. <laughs> <laughs> best, the best one. The best one. So I love MDMA was another one. As, as the night progresses, the, the, they get worse and worse. Yeah. Get better. So <laughs> hey, let's have a look then. Yeah. Thank you so much these for are, sorting us out, the, man. Uh, these are ones that we Thank made you. especially for you guys. You Thank saw. you so very much. Oh. <laughs> With the logo. Oh, no hey. oh. you can have any so, Excellent. You like, so. Wow. Incredible. They are awesome. Wow. Hey, thank you, man. No awesome. problem. Thank you very much. The cool thing about this festival is everyone is from everywhere. There's people from all over the world. We just met some really nice Californians. We met some French people. We met some Belgians. We met some Germans. So what's amazing about Tomorrowland is they have a proper store for their merch. So it's like, there's multiple on the site. It's like completely built up with displays and everything. And it looks pretty cool. So we're going to go check it out. And the good thing about this store is there's several of them. So you're not having to zigzag across for fucking two hours like at Coachella. These are the loop earplugs that Chucky was on about on the first night. And it's basically like earplugs. But some of them can be a bit, they just look like earplugs. These don't look like earplugs. These look like some like ear accessories that you'd have. So that's kind of cool. I think that's the way a lot of brands should go about not making it look like something that's going to stick out. Actually, make it look like something that's quite fashionable. You can pay in pearls or you can pay in cold, hard, contactless Apple Pay, which we like. We're gonna have a wander and I think there's a bigger merch store with even more things in it, which is quite cool. Ah. So this here is an art gallery for all the designs that they've had for Tomorrowland this year. So each year Tomorrowland changes its kind of theme. This year it's the Ascendias. Ascendo. No. It's it's Ascendio. It, it's Ascendo. Ascend no, it's not that. It's this here. Right. And this is kind of like all the designs that they had for when they were like creating it all. So this is pretty cool. Let's go have a look. Hey, there's a cake. That's, oh, a an art connoisseur, I see. That was very nice. And we spent so long in there coming up with the idea of the funny shot that we didn't even fucking look at any of the fucking artwork. <laughs> now, it's the absolute thing. These are also utilized in the law to get the most of it, right? When did you start photography? Oh, I've always been passionate about uh, the art of photography. Nervous? Ooh. Gonna a little shaky. We're about to go on a slide, and I hope it's a massive slide. I hope it's like crazy, like in a big tunnel. We're gonna go find out. Yeah, of course. Oh, style that out. I'll tell you what, this may sound quite bad, but when you take away the music from this festival, it's fucking sick. Like, we're having a great time right now. I'm not having to listen to the same 130 beats per minute beat all day even the litter at tomorrowland is nice <laughs> what is this a stage i think it's a cage man look it's a cage. Ooh, do you think we're gonna hear some 180 boom 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 in here a hundred percent yeah put your money where your mouth is there Vals. what thought edm was easy Mate. 
The thing is, I'm probably gonna like hold it back a little bit because I don't want to like, I don't want them to ask me to play tonight. Like, I can't be out doing that, so I'll probably just do it a little bit like easy tonight. Zoe here really wants to learn how to DJ. I'm desperate. So I'm gonna show her, show okay. her how to do it. Yeah, thank you. Right, so I guess I need these. Yeah, you need, you need okay. those. Yeah, they're not just full of What do I do with this? So you put those over your ears. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, but if you're cool, you do it like one, like not in your ear. Because oh, it kind of looks cool. These ones look great. See this one? It's on 122. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You want to match that with that one? See that not? one's 120. Yeah. Yeah. So you can either adjust this one or yeah. you can adjust that one. So okay, you, we'll, we'll, we'll you, you want to make it slower or faster? We'll, we'll, we'll do it. You're going to make it slower? Yeah, we'll make it slower just to like build a bit of tension. You know what I'm saying? Attention. Yeah. Okay, so which track would you like to start first? Oh, I mean, do a leap, but like, that's the one to start okay, off with, right? So hit play on that one. Yeah. So look at the, the waveform, uh -huh. you see where the red is, that's four bars. Yeah. So you want to try and get that one, make sure that that is lined up on the red, and then you want to try and hit that in time with the four bars. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Kind so of. you see, it's so ever so slightly off, so you can use I... the wheel to just adjust it in place. Like that? that one, yeah, that's it, a little bit more. Oh, so you're taking it the wrong way. Yeah. Well, that's, no. God, how the fuck that's you do that? That's playing in pretty How the fuck do that? Now, boys, I think this is going to be like the London Eye, where it costs like thirty quid. Nah. You're not going to believe it. Yeah. It was free. Yeah. Just like Rocky Rio, eh? Just like Rocky Rio. Free is a good price. The video. So oh, hello. Well, you can't really complain for free, but one of the worst wheels that I've been on. Our fest. One of the most rigid and best feeling wheels, but just couldn't see anything. We're now off to one of the other bars on site, which serves in glass, which is really nice. It's called the Moose Bar, and I think it's like snow themed, which is nice because my favorite levels on Crash Bandicoot and Uncharted are the snow ones. always drops on the two. Oh, like this. Oh, two. Oh, it drops on that. Pill. 
votes on my band. Let's go, let's go get fucked. And don't worry, you guys at home, you can get fucked with us too. Tomorrow land is temporary. Family guy is permanent. Yeah! We ready to go fucking crazy? Who's my fucking boss bitch? When we were in the big pit, we, me, Raz and Val jumped all the way to the front when we were in the big pit. My wallet wasn't in my East Pack stupidly. It was in my pocket that were unzipped and it just all flung out. And this guy kept tapping my shoulder and I'm like, if he's trying to get past, he can fuck off. I'm having a good time. And he kept insisting, so I turned around and he was like, is this yours? Cameron Lewis. I went, yeah. Anyway, this is yours. Raz got fucking jawed. Hey, Raz. What happened, to, what happened this evening? I was in the uh, Shaquille O'Neal DJ Diesel pit. Minding my own business. You know, right at the front, trying uh, try to meet the big Shaq himself. Um, he came down into the crowd and, you know, fiddle did he. I ended up with a, a fist in my face from a guy I can only describe as from New Zealand because that's the flag he was wearing. So I wanted to, so here's my problem. So I checked back and I'm like, I'm like, what's happened? And then he, he turns around and decides to punch me again. So I'm just there trying to be like, what's going on? I'm not the guy that you want. I'm like, hey, fuck me, hey, hey. another punch, why not? Hey, anyway. fuck New Zealand. Yeah, fuck him.
as if Lil John came out. Wait, Lil John asked you to get low. You fucking get low. It's the only time I'll ever get low for an act now. All right. Download hey. festival next year, but DJ Diesel and Steve with Lil John. Hey, it's Paris Hilton. Tomorrowland. It's, it's the only other place that you'll see her. We've seen Lil John and Paris Hilton the same night. I'm back again with another content warning. If you're still eating somehow, turn away now and I'll be back to tell you when it's done. It's a quick one, this one. Okay, and we're back, on with the vid. Tomorrow I'll leave a very special guest. Oh, is it, is it? Long time in the making. Everyone make some noise for Kid Cudi! Oh my god! Oh, no way! No way! No way! Oh my god! Oh yeah, it's fucking Cudi, man! He best do day and night. Day and night! Oh boy! I'm gonna show the season three is by the night. Where can I get a red hot chili pepper hey, no burger? One, hey, no one cares about that, man. Alright, boys, we need a straight answer. Red hot thumbs chili peppers, thumbs up or thumbs down. 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 Your passport, bitch. Built to resist. Welcome to the after party. Welcome to the after party. That when I met your money. I reserve my judgment until the podcast is all I'm saying. I've got to keep you hooked, am I right? I don't want to say too much. Or you just won't listen, will you? Bro, stop being a big nonce. Mate, what do you mean? <laughs> I am hammered. I, I am hammered. Okay. Oh, On the point, bro. <laughs> Can Rob go stop being a big old pedo? There you go. <laughs> I'm hammered. <laughs> Richard, good to fucking see you! Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's get out of the out of the light and into the dark. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you after I've had my second burger. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Just, go on. Take a look, take a look, take a look at that. Hey, hey, get the puppy, come on. <laughs> oh. 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 Are you all right? Oh. Hey. Hey. You're right. My name is Chucky. I'm sitting in the corner. Do 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 do. Sitting in the corner, playing my recorder. Hey, Bells. Yeah. Do us a favor, man. Yeah. <laughs> take my take my picture with the with the tomorrow land rhombus. <laughs> Okay. Oh, give me, give me a second. I'll throw the square. No, don't oh, throw it. I'll don't throw, throw it. it. No, don't throw it, Chop. What chop. about there? No, Chop. <laughs> none of our problem now. Everyone go to bed. The square's gone to bed. <laughs> 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 I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs>
Right then, so here we are at Tomorrowland, the home of EDM. And you want to know, is it any good? Well, we are here to report. Tomorrowland is great. Everything that people say about it is true. It's magical, it's so visually impressive. However, the music is just not for us. You know, I like EDM, I love electronic disco music, but I don't want to hear the same beat again and again and again. So that's why on the first day, we really struggled a little bit. Thankfully yesterday though, it was great because we had other things to do that weren't revolved around the music. I would say Tomorrowland is brilliant and is well worth coming to. However, if I had to give you an alternative, I think Boomtown is a much better alternative for everything overall. Well, I have to say, Tomorrowland has been fucking excellent. Um, everyone's super friendly. There's so much to do with it. The stages, the crowds are brilliant. We had a riot last night. We've had a good time when I look back on it. We've had a good time every day. Yeah, the music's not for us. We keep saying the music's not for us. But last night proved that if you get hammered enough and you have enough of a good time, then the music could be for you. So with that in mind, I would definitely say get yourself to Tomorrowland. And if not, Boomtown it'll do, but probably come to Tomorrowland. It's a bit bigger, a bit more grand. Yeah, it's been good. Yesterday was really the same in Greece. Until yesterday, I didn't think it was that good. And it is like what Jake and Chuck said, just about the music. As a clean boy, you don't do any of that. And having to rely on pints of beer all weekend, it has been a struggle to get through. But it has actually been class. Yesterday was fucking outstanding. And it saved the whole weekend for me. <laughs> God, I've been waiting to do that for fucking ages. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrowland, what can I say? It's not for us, but it might be for you, and that's the point. That's all I've got. <laughs> hey, we'll see you at Tomorrowland Winter Air in March. Yeah, yeah in the yeah. snow. Well done, boys. That's a wrap. I don't know what this high five thing is that we're doing, You've but. You've got awful hands, mate. Look at your hands. Well, what a weekend that was. Eh? Absolutely mental. It was really nice to be out of our comfort zone. When I woke up on the Friday morning, I really thought to myself, God, there's. I'd rather be anywhere else in the world because of the repetitive nature of the music. And by Sunday morning, I was fully won over. Something weird has happened since I've got back from this event, which is that I miss it so much. And if you'd have told me that on the Friday, I would never have believed it. But I'm really getting the festival blues very hard. Tomorrowland was outstanding and now the dust is settling I'm really realizing how truly incredible it was super super glad to have gone thank you to all the people on screen now all our amazing supporters on patreon we could not do this without you and I really do mean that thanks so much we love you hope you've enjoyed this video and of course more content next week all our love from TPD TV to you and you know what? I'm going to listen to some EDM. See you later.